Well, praise the Lord, everyone, and greetings to you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the, the last part of my message about the position of power we have in Christ Jesus. Amen. I was meaning to post it last night, but wasn't able to. But uh, nonetheless, we are continuing and hopefully we'll finish this uh, series. Amen. A reading from uh, the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2, uh, chapter 1 rather, uh, chapter 1 verse uh, 20. For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ, and so through Him the Amen is spoken by us to uh, the glory of God. God. Uh, my goodness, this is truly, truly an amazing reality or truth about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Being, hallelujah, the confirmation and the seal of God's promises, the approval of God's promises. Christ is the approval of God's promises. So meaning in Christ, as long as you are in Christ, it is yes and it is amen. Now, it coincides with the scripture that we uh, studied last week uh, in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, chapter 2, verse 6. For he raised us from the dead alone with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realm, heavenly places, because we are united with Christ Jesus. Now, again, as I've said and as I've mentioned, that by the virtue of our spiritual rebirth in Christ or in God through Christ, by repentance, water baptism, in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the infilling of the Holy Spirit and living a holy life, we assume the position of power in Christ Jesus. Meaning you are now standing in a place of privilege and no longer wallowing in the curse of sin. That's why it's really important to have uh, 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 an understanding of who you are and what you are uh, and where you are standing from amen I have uh, emphasized this that we need to know where we are standing where we are praying and we where we are uh, opening our our sacrifices so even in the tabernacle brothers and sisters you know when you enter into the uh, the, 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 the 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 outer court there is a you know, offering of sacrifice but so with in, 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 in the, the holy place to the holy of holiest, they offer a worship and praise. So it is really understanding where you are. Now, a lot, of, a lot of people, a lot of Christian believers, they don't have any idea where they are. So I already emphasized that uh, last week. So we'll, we'll continue uh, uh, yeah, on this uh, uh, lesson, praise God, or a word that I would like to impart to our prayer uh, group. Amen. Praise God. All promises of God are yes and amen. So in Christ, so therefore be in Christ, for he is the hope of glory. Amen. We have the the promise of walking and uh, and living in 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 the position of his grace if you choose to avail to all of this god given benefits and promises you are we are able to walk in the newness of life is surrounded by spiritual gifting and spiritual blessing in high places the access to the throne of grace is open it means 
that the spiritual communication is ongoing. There is no hindrance. There is no blockage. There is no nothing that will stop you from from negotiating or from understanding or from uh, taking. Amen. So you have to uh, you have to uh, uh, bring your case. Amen. Uh, negotiate your blessing. Just as it was before, Adam and Eve disobeyed the commandments of the Lord. Jesus Christ restored us into the right positioning. The original intention of dominion and authority is now reestablished. That once broken relationship and communion with God is now restored. We are, the Bible said, seated with Him in the heavenly places. Praise God. It, it, it really means that you cannot do anything to open it because it is already open. Amen. Today, now, you must take what is yours. Amen. Align your thoughts, your understanding, your mind to this reality, to the promises of God, to this truth. Amen. To your to your now reality in Christ Jesus. Align to the promises of God. Amen. Is standing on the promise of uh, promises of Christ, my King, as the song goes on to say, through eternal ages, let His praises ring, glory in the highest. I will shout and sing, standing on the promises of God. Amen. Be conscious, be uh, be aware. And begin to delight, hallelujah, begin to enjoy and begin to appreciate in the fact that the Spirit of God, hallelujah, dwells in you and become alert to the fact that you are in the heavenly atmosphere all the time in Christ. You are in a different vantage point of view before you were saved. You are, we are now in a different vantage point of view before Christ picked us up from the miry clay of sin. We're no longer, hallelujah, looking up. We are looking down and looking straight to the eyes of the Lord. Amen. Discover, hallelujah, the intense passion uh, of God's love for His children. And that is, that is, that is powerful. That is uh, awesome. Uh, Reality, if we understand uh, how, how much God loves you and cares for you. So we need to discover step by step, understanding His ways and His words and His actions. It is for His children because of His great love, His agape love of God, the unconditional love of God toward us, toward you. I, I was reminded, uh, rem uh, I remember the song, The Love of God is Greater Far. Amen. Than, than tongue or pen can ever tell. It goes beyond the highest, the highest star and reaches to the lowest hell. The love of God, how rich and pure, how measureless and strong. It shall forever more endure. Glory to God. Ephesians 3.17 uh, to 19 said, I pray that you, amen, may have the power together with all the saints to understand how wide, how long, how high, how deep is the love of God. That is something you and I, hallelujah, are not responsible to open the windows of heaven because it is already open. Amen. It is not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit that we come boldly to the throne of grace. Hallelujah. That is the blessing of the Lord. Those are the things that we need to understand. We are, you are in the position of power in Christ Jesus. Our vantage point is different before we were saved before you were born again hallelujah before we're looking up now we're looking down amen and then we're looking straight to the eyes of god because we're surrounded and we are seated with him you need to know where you at at the moment 
You are saved. If you, if you repented of your sins and you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior through water baptism in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ and you received the gift of the Holy Ghost and you are trying to live a holy life, you are now uh, ascended into that place of privilege, a, pay, a place of glory in Christ Jesus.